and today I'm going to talk about Instagram hashtag strategy in 2018. Let's begin. Quite frequently hear the stories when people say that hashtags are not working and they have tried so many things but they're really not working and some even recommend to not use hashtags at all. And these people, I have to say, are so wrong. In this video, I will give you examples of real success stories, how people reached uh, their target audience, engagement rate and exposure thanks to the hashtag strategy. Actually, there are still two cases that for whom hashtags might not work. And the first case is when you have trouble with your content. If it's that the case for you, then go back to your account, analyze in which niche your account might fit produce an amazing content, invest time into it, and then come back and watch this video again. If it's not the case, then watch this video until the end and you will leave with all the techniques and strategies in order to rock an Instagram with a new hashtag strategy. Let's begin. Actually, the game of Instagram hashtags has changed quite dramatically uh, in 2019 because Instagram, with its new update, introduced uh, analytics on hashtags and I want to show you how is it working however it's only working for accounts business accounts not private ones and if you're still having a private account go ahead and change this into in your Instagram settings once you're in a business profile you will see two buttons view insights and promote button we click on the view insights and here in the on the bottom in the bottom of the screen a little window will pop up and then once you click once again on this little uh, white window you will see the full statistics of your post and here explicitly for this post you can find that under the impressions um, 1000 people 42 came from hashtags it's so, so amazing. You can see that thanks to this, uh, 61 people visited my profile and six people started to follow my profile, which is really, really amazing numbers because I haven't done anything else but just using right hashtags. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on finding right hashtags for your niche. But in order to do so, you need to identify your niche. If you haven't yet, go ahead and try to identify in which niche your account would fit. There are some uh, generic niches on Instagram, moms and kids, uh, fitness and sport, cooking, beauty, fashion, traveling, business, and so on. There are really a bunch of uh, niches that your Instagram might fit, but really find yours. And because based on your niche, we will do a lot of research on which hashtags would work for you. We will need to go to a computer and I will show you on my screen recording how to do it step by step. Uh, so once you know your competitors, really just focus on the competitors that are in your niche. You just type in their name and uh, there will be, let's say I'm gonna, I'm your competitor. so. I'm on my page basically. So what I, you have to do is clicking on an image and to check what kind of hashtags uh, this person is using. So here you can see I was using a bunch of hashtags. What we're gonna do now is um, opening this hashtag in a different tab just to check how many posts are there on a sp under specific hashtags. So 89,000. I have already prepared a Google Sheet. I really like to use Google Sheets because you can access it from any device. So here you can see how I have organized my table according to the size of hashtag. You can also add niches, it's just however it's up to you how you want to use it. And also you can use a formulas to organize it if you are a geek in with Excel. So I want to keep it really simple so everyone can understand how is it working. So this hashtag, exactly this one, is fitting into this group of hashtags. 89,000, we just, sorry, um, didn't copy it correctly. Uh, we just copy this one and then place it over here. Whoops, it's done. And then we go to a uh, next hashtag. We just close this tab and then go to the next. Uh, let's go to this one. Uh, again, open it in a new tab and then see 
uh, how many posts are on a specific hashtag. So we copy this hashtag, 70,000, which fits um, uh, in the same group of hashtags as before. We just place it over here. So I think you understood the technique. The other um, uh, method to uh, research new hashtags is not by competitors, but by the generic hashtags. So I would go to social media, which is relevant to my uh, niche, social media marketing. And here you can see the top post. We actually focus on the top posts because they're performing good. So that means they are doing something right. So here you can see a bunch of hashtags and actually all of them are more or less um, similar to mine. So let's go to social media marketing. Um, and we actually do absolutely the same steps as before so 7 million um, posts under these hashtags and it's quite a big niche but I will still consider it so we post it over here um, ideally, your niches should be more or less equal uh, and it depends on the size of your account. If your account is relatively small, stick in this um, gap and adding maybe one or two uh, big hashtags, but try to stick into this range. So the chances that your uh, post will be appeared under this hashtag in top is relatively high than if you would use 2 million or even more uh, really big hashtags. The chance that your post will appear in top is relatively small, unfortunately. So um, yeah, keep it simple. So in the next step, we are going to create groups of hashtags that you can later on use on ready to go groups to post it on your Instagram. Do it on uh, uh, the notes. Uh, so because I can work on the computer and it's synchronized with my phone, it's really up to you which program to use. Uh, but we're gonna prepare a file where we will group hashtags. And so we later on can use, it, can use ready to go um, group of hashtags and place it under uh, our post. So it's the, the strategy behind is very simple. You just copy paste hashtags from different groups, uh, which is um, can be, it really depends on the size of your account. But for small account, I really recommend you to stick in um, this mm, circle. Uh, I'm not going far here. Maybe please uh, one, two, two, three hashtags from the big um, groups, uh, but really uh, try to stick with the smaller hashtags because that's uh, how the chances that you will appear under this hashtag is relatively high. So just really go ahead and place um, different uh, hashtags from different groups and um, uh, you can place uh, up to 30 hashtags, uh, but I really recommend you to stick to 20 to 25 to not be spammy. So once uh, the first group is done, you grow, go to the group uh, number two and create really um, how many as you wish, because I like to do it once a week for the following week, so I don't have to spend a lot of time doing this during the days. So I prepare it for one week in advance and you can just copy and paste it either in the caption, but remember separate your main tags with hashtags uh, by putting five, do five dots on each line to not make it look messy or place it in the uh, first comment under your picture. It doesn't really matter where to place it and I have tested it, so it really doesn't matter. So yeah, uh, go ahead and prepare a group of hashtags based on your research and you will see once you figure out your hashtags that are relevant to your niche, it's gonna work so, so well for your account. to show you some amazing results from my followers when I started to share uh, about uh, hashtag strategy on my Instagram people started to share with me their stories so one of the success stories is by Marina um, so here you can see that she was able to reach with these hashtags which is pretty huge actually she was able to reach um, these hashtags and her posts were on the top of on the top of this hashtag and which brought her a lot of uh, exposure 
um, new followers as well as engagement rate. The other person who shared with me his success stories is Jaco and uh, he shared with me his statistics so you can really see how many people came from uh, hashtags 3338 and it's just by placing right hashtags under his post so you can really see that it can bring you a lot of exposure new followers and engagement rate by just simply investing a little bit of time in researching which hashtags can work for your niche and by the way, this is um, a short uh, introduction to my ebook that you can uh, download a little bit later once it's all finished and it will have some place for the notes, which is also really important once you want to identify your niche and uh, with many tips and tricks about hashtags as well, not just using it in your feed, but as well using it in your stories. Once you have done the research in hashtags and you have uh, created several groups that you might use later on for your uh, Instagram post, it's really, really important to keep analyzing your hashtags and the performance. First of all, you can utilize the insights as I showed you in the beginning of this video to see how your post is performing thanks to the hashtags. And the, another technique how you can uh, really identify these hashtags is a specific specific hashtag working for you is by um, simply clicking on it after uh, let's say 24 hours after after your posting uh, and you can see if you see your post under this hashtag in the top then your hashtags are working if not then you might try to use it once again and if it's not working again uh, I highly recommend you to remove this hashtag from your Excel sheet and not use it further and make sure that you update your Excel sheet with new hashtags quite frequently so you have all the time updated hashtags uh, on your Excel sheet that you might then later on put it into several groups uh, so they're ready to be used on your Instagram um, feed. And uh, another tip for you is try to avoid uh, spamming hashtags which are fake, uh, like for like, uh, follow for follow or uh, something like this because these hashtags considered as spam and I highly recommend you to not use it and avoid it. That is it for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments.